Hello, I'm Deborah Turner, Marketing Manager for Vicuna Europe. Joining me today is Jennifer Gay. She's the Process Coordinator at Vicuna Brazil. And also joining us is Vinicius Fagundes, who is the Textile and Finishing Specialist at CHT in Brazil. So today we're going to talk about the V Protective Collection from Vicuna. This is a collection of antiviral and antibacterial fabrics that deactivate and destroy enveloped viruses, including coronavirus, with 99.9% .9 efficiency within one minute. So my first question goes to Vinicius, and I'm going to ask you, Vinicius, to explain what an enveloped virus is. Hi, hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the opportunity to be here. Um, and let's start. In case of enveloped virus, that are covered by a lipid uh, layer, and this layer is responsible for protecting this virus. This envelope is also formed by proteins. These proteins will give charge to this virus and will be important because this charge will uh, connect or will be responsible for the infection from, with the virus, with the cells. Thank you. Um, and so how do you actually destroy an enveloped virus? As you know, silver has the, a positive charge. So this positive charge will block the coronavirus or any kind of enveloped virus. So we have the silver positive and the virus that's negative. Then you're gonna achieve this blocking and uh, that will inactivate the virus. This is the first step. The technology and that what makes this technology different and therefore makes the Vicuña fabric different is the vesicle technology. This vesicle, um, let's try to, to say it simple, it's more or less like a tiny uh, empty, a small bag, it's a tiny empty bag that uh, we're able to remove this envelope, remove this membrane that covers the virus and protects the virus. Once this membrane is removed, the silver can work again and of fi finishing the virus, finishing the genetic material that was inside. So this is why this technology is different and makes these combined systems uh, with a fast response to the virus, to eliminate the virus that uh, we have achieved 99.9 .9 activation in just one minute. How did this technology come to market, Vinicius? That in the beginning was a technology from HiQ. HiQ is a Swiss company and CHT is a German company. And then you have two different co uh, chemical companies that used to compete in the market in the past. And now they join their forces. They were collaborating together in this process in order to spread um, this technology all around the world. Uh, HiQ looked for a reliable partner that could be able to produce locally, that we make our product cheaper in each market. For example, uh, CHT is pre present in more than 20 countries, and then it's able to produce in Brazil, produce in Mexico also, or even in Colombia. And then uh, there was a huge effort in order to start the logistic, the marketing, the technical aspect, looking for laboratories that were able to check the efficiency of the fabrics that we would apply our technology. And then uh, I think in only two weeks, we we're able to start contacting our partners. And Vicuña was one, one, one partner that we, we like to talk. When we contacted Vicuña, Jennifer was already there and she knew about the technology and he, she was really open to our, our idea and the project. And then we could work together. Uh, at this point, I'm going to uh, put a video in, a short video from HiQ, which illustrates how the chemical destroys the virus. HiQ Viroblock is an antiviral textile technology combining HiQ's advanced silver and vesicle components that can be applied to any fabric to make them X-ray resistant to viruses and bacteria. Silver emits silver ions to kill any bacteria on the fabric surface. 
Just like a magnet, the positively charged silver attracts the negatively charged virus and tries to attack it with silver ions. However, envelope virus membrane is like a shield protecting the virus from silver ions. The vesicle technology, which is a cosmetic grade liposome, helps to deplete the viral membrane quickly so that the silver ions can attack the core of the virus and destroy the virus rapidly. With HiQ Viroblock, fabrics are no longer the hosting surface for viruses and breeding ground for bacteria. So Jenny, my next question is to you. Um, and I'm going to ask you to set the scene of the COVID situation in Brazil when CHT made this approach um, and how you managed to start those trials. Well, first of all, hello to everybody here from Brazil. Um, I was going through my notes and I realized that it was during the last Kingpin's week, actually, that Vinicius contacted me and said, well, uh, CHT will have uh, access to a very, very innovative product, very interesting. What do you think? Is that something that might be, that might fit in with what Vicunha is doing? Um, I was very, very pleased to hear about it. Uh, we spoke to everybody here internally and thought, oh, that's a great idea, but we're all at home. Uh, we're getting our uh, video conferences and access to the server and so on set up. And it was a very complicated moment. But um, as Vinicius said, um, we managed, everybody managed to speed up everything. And we then started to think about how we could go about it. Everybody at home. And we were going through the process and thinking what we could do and how we could realize things. And... We, we came up with this idea, which would be the best way to process it. So what were the biggest challenges that you faced on working on this project, Jenny? Well, as I said, um, a protective fabric has uh, for us a, uh, a larger responsibility than a, a normal denim fabric. And this made us think um, how, well, that made us think how we could plan and guarantee that the fabric we're going to deliver to our customers uh, will really um, have the protective effect as we expect. That means we have to think about process control, quality control, traceability, and we realize that it is not feasible to do an easy quality control test for an antiviral protection in an industrial lab. So we had to go take another approach, which in our case is, um, is process control and traceability. So um, a lot of the fabrics were really quite different. The bases, the different basis fabrics that we used, they were of different compositions, different weaves um, and different weights. So ensuring that consistency must have been really quite challenging. Yes, exactly. That was a, a concern we had, Deborah, right from the beginning. This strict traceability and the, the uh, thorough going through the, the, the production process made it possible for us to produce all these different fabric styles with excellent um, antiviral protection, as Vinicius said. So we were able to launch five fabrics using this technology. And they have, uh, because they're varying in weight and composition and different textures, we can apply them to many different products. So some of them can be applied to tops, bottoms, outerwear, and some of them for accessories. Um, so what we did in Vicuna, once we had received the fabrics, we actually made a co collaboration in Brazil with some designers to create um, interesting product ideas. And from that, in Brazil, we actually created uh, a distanced fashion show and that took place in our showroom in Sao Paulo. And we're going to show you a short taster of what some of those products look like. The full um, video of that will be available on the on-demand section of Kingpins.
Okay, my next question is to Vinicius. Um, and I'm going to ask you about the testing of this product and what we achieved on the Vicuña collection, because it wasn't an easy task and it wasn't an easy time to be actually conducting these tests or these developments, in fact. So could you explain a little bit about that? The main point and the most difficult part here was to find a laboratory that was able to find and to test uh, this fabric against the virus. This for us was the most difficult part because we, ha we had a, a list of laboratories that are doing this kind of tests, but they are full of requests. And then uh, we are able to get an uh, institute in Campinas where I, I have studied. So my, my university was there and made this make it a little bit easier uh, for us that was more open to do the tests. And then we were able to do the ISO 18184, that it's the, 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 uh, the standard that uh, check the virus or antiviral activity from the fabric. And uh, it was, we were really, really happy to, to check the results when they came out that uh, the response was uh, after one minute, one minute contact, 99.9 .9 of inhibition. This is really, really outstanding. And, uh, and just for under to better understand, the standard said, says that we, uh, the contact time should be two hours. But we know, yes, the standard say two hours, but the standard also, also says that you can, the parts can agree in a shorter time. And then we did in one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, and let's say what, what's gonna happen. And then when the results came out, and then we are really happy. And then uh, we saw that Minimum was one minute 99.9, and this make us really happy. And it's also important to say that this fabric from from Picunia, they are well, they were also tested uh, against bacteria, and it was approved. And also we checked the silver content after uh, multiple washings. So more than checking the virus effect, effect, we also checked how the product is there and how it. Uh, the, the level of, of silver content after multiple washes. And then we also checked that it's there after 30, 30 washes. So it's uh, quite impressive, this result that we got. So really, really happy. And thank you, Jenny, for all effort in the production, because you know the production and the control of the production is the key point for the success of this project. Fantastic. Jenny, can you talk about the durability of those fabrics? and um, oh, yes. how we should care for them. Of course. Um, uh, this actually is a very quick and easy answer, Deborah. The finish we apply to these products um, is a finish which is similar uh, to the way you have to treat it with any other finish you would apply to denim or, 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 or denim color fabric. Uh, you do not have to hand wash it, you can machine wash it, no problem at all. Um, uh, as Vinicius said, we have uh, already tested it. It is very durable. You can go through very, very many washing cycles and still have the silver content, which means that the, the, the protection is still active. So at the moment, uh, as you know, washing is uh, a time-taking process. By now, we're up to 30 washing cycles and the performance is still very, very much in standard. So it is, um, and for us as an end consumer, an easy going finish. You don't have to have extreme care with these garments or something like that. You treat them as well as you would treat any other type of garment. So on the on-demand section at Kingpins, what we will show is um, the product specifications and technical information about all of these fabrics, which you can access at any time. So I think what we have done here seems like something really quite amazing. We've adapted to a changing world um, with real innovation, with precision, and we have products from that and from all of the energy and effort and consideration that we've been given. We've got real products that we can wear now. And I think that's really, really, really important. So I thank you both uh, for all of the hard work, 
that you put in to create these products. And um, I just want to say well done. And I hope that we sell them very well. Thank you, Jenny. And thank you, Vinicius.